Agent, do you miss the 2K community question from King of the Fourth Quarter? <clears throat> There's so much a market for the streaming stuff. Like when Agent Agent dropped at not the height of 2K, but as 2K was dying down, I was like, you know what, this 2K is not for me. The game's trash, so I'm going to go be a streamer. And I didn't understand it in the moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like his videos, even even if he was, because I'm in a part now where I don't enjoy making 2K but videos. But they get the views. But they get the views enough for me to pay pay bills and get the wealth that I want. So I'm still doing Bro, yes. Oh, my God. So look, first of all, King of the Fourth Quarter is like a, like he's a he's a smart person, you feel me? <clears throat> like I, I, so chat, I started doing 2K videos in 2K14. Every day. I uploaded one video. It was a My GM episode. I would record like four in a day and I would post them. Boom, 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 boom. Every day for four years, I did the same thing, bro. Okay? After a while, the shit gets boring. It's not that I wasn't grateful. Channels was growing like that. It just, it gets boring. So you try something else. So I started doing park stuff. Started doing jump shot. And like that became my niche. And then after a while, after three, four, five years of that, that gets a little boring. So you want to do some other you Feel me? So it's like, there's ways to keep what you're doing interesting. I just lost interest, bro. I'll be honest with you. I just lost interest. And that wasn't even what pushed me out. What pushed me out is when I found out I was on a, a, a blacklist. That, and once I got a couple brand deals in the block for me is when I thought like, bro, hold on now. Hold on. It's getting real hostile. It's becoming a hostile environment for me a little bit. And it's just, it kind of puts things into perspective. Like nothing is guaranteed, bro. And I just realized I was putting myself at serious risk by not doing outside of 2k so i just took my opportunity to do shit outside of 2k there was a lot of things that led to it i miss the community though for sure the people the people in the community the content creators bro chat name a 2k youtuber that after they got done doing 2k shit dominated some shit like name the biggest people that came from the community go <clears throat> name the biggest people that came from the community speed yep phantom correct fredo correct aiden yep cash Davis, correct. LSK, Jesser, right. Flight. Flight was really NBA Live, but same thing, like in the same genre. Troy Dan, yes. Jinxie? I don't know if that's true. I don't know if Jinxie's true, but I'm pretty sure he's rainbow, straight Rainbow Six. Los Polos, yep. Bruce, yes. Keep going. Punch Ray Dev, yeah, ironically, yes. <laughs> Crashy Line, fuck that nigga. Duke, correct. Bro, you can find the blueprint of niggas that blew up off of this genre all over the internet, all doing different things. You feel me? So like, yeah, there's a lot of love there, bro. You feel me? There's a lot of love there. It's just the game has just, it's just a shell of its former self in my personal opinion, doing it. bro. He dropped all of that and was like, I'm just going to be a streamer. Mm. And I didn't understand it. And now I watch him and he's getting 10,000 concurrent viewers and he's got all of the subs in the world. And obviously AMP is on top of the world as far as groups go. It was like, damn, he made that transition smooth. And I bet if I asked him today, does he miss the 2K community? He'd probably say no all the time. Okay. But the only reason I would say no is because I try not to miss things, bro. I think missing things is like, I, I'm more excited about what it is right now than what was. I'm, so I told y'all niggas that when Peer to Peer ended too, like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't miss it. I'm just happy it ever happened. Because it, it, there's a chance that, like, there's another timeline. Maybe th it wasn't written that way, and it doesn't happen. So I'm just ecstatic that I even had that moment. When Lo moved out of the house, I, like, I missed it because Lo was such a, he's such a hilarious person to live with. But I just, I, I missed it, and then I reminded myself, like, bro, I'm just happy we had that for three years. That's just the way I try and think about things, bro. So I, like, actively try not to miss things because it's not really, like, a useful feeling all that much. Yo, Alexia's mom, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Lady, thank you for the gift. But um, yeah, and they're on top of the podcast game. These niggas is fucking doing fantastic for themselves. So just, yeah, bro. That's like, I feel like, yeah, he's one of the smartest people I know, Kenny, bro. Um, so I feel like in small, I think, I think he did it too, low key. I think he did it too, low key. Like he has uh, the series with Bleacher Reports, I believe, or was it House of Highlights? Um, where he like interviews different NBA players. Niggas living like a sports fan's dream too. You feel me? So like, and that was off the strength of like starting doing 2K content. Me and him was in the same community, bro. We used to make the My GM My League videos every day. I remember, bro. I got a lot of respect for him. 